what will wind energy look like in the future? Will wind turbines and their blades, bearings, and supports continue to become increasingly massive? Or will we learn new ways to extract energy from all around us, from our buildings, structures, and art? This is FLAG, oscillating in the wind to power small loads like fluorescent lights, or this bank of 98 LEDs. FLAG stands for Flexible Linear Aeroelectrostatic Generator. This flag is being cut out of 5 mil polyester film on a cutting machine. Then, conductive decals are cut into the shapes that will make up the circuit for this new type of electrostatic machine. This flag has three conductive areas, or sectors, that work like variable capacitors to extract work from the movement of the film. Once the decals are cut, they are applied to the polyester film with three diodes, and the film is folded into three layers. The inner layer oscillates in the wind, and the charge is copied every oscillation. Flag prototypes start working at wind speeds greater than 15 km per hour. Since the circuit is open to air, the performance depends on the humidity, but uninsulated, they output around 500 volts DC. Under very dry conditions, they can output higher voltages, even causing failure of the film if run without a load. In the future, thin film wind generators can be printed circuits, made anywhere including countries without the facilities to manufacture today's enormous wind turbines. They can have the appearance of flags or leaves and are even light enough for airborne wind power kites. This simple, lightweight, inexpensive, easily manufactured and recyclable technology has plenty of potential. Thanks for watching.